everyone, welcome to Watch It, Paint It. This video is going to be, it's, this is an intro into a series, a set of painting videos, but I dislike um, multi-part YouTube set video things, so I'm trying to make them as individual videos, but they, they go together, and I'm just going to show you here the rough idea of my plan, and I'm going to be painting up these two models, and this model is this one from the model box from this month, which is the Frostgrave Ghost archipelago <laughs> whatever that says he's the little reptile fella and he's going to be the competition for model box this month they have a monthly competition and you can paint up a guy and and, and enter it and this one this one's is rocks the fox from model box as well so i've been waiting to paint him for ages so that will be in one video and another video will be these ceramic pots which are by steve barber models which i got in one of the model box i'm going to use those on the on the base and that'll be a video and then finally i've got these mdf laser cut bases by game envy the guys that did the hobby holder and this order of the miniature that'll be another video i'll leave all the links in the description below to find these videos from this one and in this video we're going to be painting those steve barber models pots they're like ceramic terracotta style pots they these are made of pewter and first i'm just going to attach them all to one of my hobby holders just to make them a little bit easier to hold. I will have to paint the bottom of all of these pots. So if, I'll do it off camera, but I'll just follow the same steps, make them match in the same way. The first one I'm gonna paint in Crusted Saw by the Army Painter, that's that maroony red. And I'm gonna fairly quickly realize that I didn't prime these, which means I need to use those Vallejo game colors. Or if you've got a spray primer and you could just nip outside, that they'd be quite hard to prime because they're so titty, but you know, they, they do need priming, so I'm switching now to my Vallejo ones. And I'm just going to use one of the other two colors. They're both Vallejo's colors. I'm going to use Terracotta and use Dark Flesh Tone. And I'm just going to prime one of them in that for for the Crusted Saw. So I'm, I'm painting, I've split my parts. There's six in the bag, and I've split them into two, two of each. I'm going to paint them these three colors. This is the Dark Flesh Tone. Just picked them at random. Just do it randomly. If you've got some other colors, just pick those. But I'm just coating the whole thing. And I'm using that Vallejo game color, as I've said in a few videos, quite a lot now. You can use it as a primer as well as that base coat, and that's going to stick to this metal. And then now you can see I'm going back with the Crusted Saw. I'm just painting over one of the ones that use terracotta to base. And now this Crusted Saw is, is sticking to it much better, and it's taking that color. I'm going to use Jumpsuit Shader. That's the red shader, there's, um, uh, but that's by Army Painter. There's, there's one by uh, Citadel as well, if you've got that. And I'm just going to give it a light coloring of this and just, just make it look a bit redder, a bit more realistic. Then I'm gonna go around highlighting using the base color that I used. And I'm gonna put that around the sort of lip of the, the, the part and on the handles, and I'm gonna blend it down the middle as well, just as though the light's hitting sort of the belly of the part. And I'm gonna do this, do that for Crusted Saw. I'm gonna do exactly the same on all the parts with the original base color. So this is the terracotta. Again, just doing that lip, doing the, the tops of the handles and the belly of the part and dark flesh tone gets exactly the same treatment. No different here. Uh, the, I feel like the dark flesh tone's taken that wash really, really well. You can see under the, the lip, it's really, really quite realistic. And that's it, guys, that's, that's completely finished. These are a piece of cake, couple of minutes. Did, did not take very long. Do check the description below to look at the other videos and see me attach these to a model. They'll go from looking okay to absolutely fantastic. And I make them look like they've got some sort of liquid in them as well later on. So do check those videos. Thank you all very much for watching.